Hey there, everyone. Trying to you here. Uh, I'm here. I'm Novakistan. It's not going to be a fun time. Look, it might be. We're playing Valhalla. Oh, she's still kind of sad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right here. We literally just, we just found yeah, out our ex girlfriend is... fucking died. <sighs> she's not even going to have any yeah. funny, comment or funny color commentary on this, huh? Uh, I forgot. Encore concert. I forgot who read what first last time. Was it. Uh, I think I read first last time. Okay. I think. I'm yeah. not sure. I'll just go for it. Kirimiki right. Encore concert. Announced by Lana Smithy. Fans of the famous cyber idol Kirimiki are in for a huge party, all thanks to the announcement of a second concert in Glitch City Silver Thunder Superdome. Oh, you want to read the quote at least? I'm so excited to extend my visit, declared the cyber idol during an interview. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets are now up for sale and expected to disappear in a matter of minutes, so be quick to secure and secure the best spots. You can get tickets from the following retailers Ticket Lord and Idol Hell. Idol oh. Hell. Oh, well, here we go. Good for her. New act proposes increased... New act pr proposes oh. increased surveillance by Lana Smithy. We have nanomachines tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have taken place recently, Prime Minister Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Mm. Many people died during that protest, and that could have been avoided if we had more control over the masses. Or, yeah, Quincy said during a parliament meeting, we have we have the technology to simply shut down lawbreakers. That's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict, and it's common sense to use it at this point. When asked about the positive, possible negative consequences, Quincy refused to make any further comments. More than that, machines. That's all smoke screen to divert attention. <laughs> then 66 American Kid Returns Hell challenges yeah, Giant does. Yusuke to a title match by Lana Smithy. That's like we're done at this point, because Kim just fucking died off screen. <laughs> Ever since Giant Yusuke won the GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative response from fans. Challenger after challengers tried to take the title away from the imposing giant, but nearly all of them were injured in the process. 66 American Kids surprised the GSF world by returning to action almost four months earlier than expected, and then challenging Giant Yusuke to a title match on January 4th at the Super Silver Thunderdome. They kind of saw January 6th. There's enough things I have to remember on from January 6th. Gulp. This January, I'll become the champion GSF deserves. 66 American Kid proclaimed during a promotion in front of 25,000 fans in the Kokoro Hall. I wish I knew more about wrestling. Sounds exciting. Uh, you just want to get in your boss's pants, and that's that's the avenue, Jill. That, that's the avenue, yes. Okay, so... Huh? This is new. I think so. Yeah. Right, go Makuse for say releasing EKDV186 update. Is this the greatest thing to ever grace the planet Earth? I literally can't stop <laughs> touching myself. <laughs> Such a high quality release. But why is the camo blurry? I think it's a regulation for civilian models. Something's off. I'd be all over this normally, but I can't seem to get excited over this. Your shit taste is showing. <laughs> I was like, what's that word? <laughs> nah, nah, I just think that it kind of descends descent. I'm kind of tired of the same thing over and over. That's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military equipment and weapons. Yeah, I think it's that. I better stop buying so many weapons already, I'll never find pleasure in them again. Any word on the camo stuff for the civilian weaponry? They said they were going to announce more stuff on a later date. I like porn, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this third is closed. Oh, well, I almost fucking backed out before oh. we read this. Invisible guns? I think they'll use it for cute patterns. Yeah, I fucking agree. Cute patterns are bust. Okay, so this is all the same. Yeah. God, all right. I guess it's just time to fucking go to work, huh? Yeah, it's about that time. This is real Persona 3. Yesterday was a terrible tragedy. However, you still must go to school today, Energy. Shit. Thursday. Well, who's this guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this guy's fucking chill this as shit. This guy's giving it. me hope. Good evening. Are you okay? I feel like shit. You sure you shouldn't? You should have come in. Ah, oh, fuck, Jesus! <laughs> you, sh you sure you should have come then? You're in all the right to stay home. I don't know why I can't read. Is that I was in the library been? today. You're in a is, yeah. You were in a library, but you counteracted that with the 101 proof. Look, I only had three sips <laughs> an <laughs> hour ago, and then I refilled my glass. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> okay, don't, you know what? don't do it. 
<laughs> Don't do it. I have to. <laughs> I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. Oh. People I love were pushed aside just so I can enjoy my freedom of being here. My oh, stupid, man. stupid freedom. Oh, poor Jill. So I'll come here until I die. Even after the bar closes, until my hair falls out. You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah? Well, your hair is... hairy. Damn straight. <gasps> yes, it is. <laughs> Ugh, who was a dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh, yeah. I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home. Rest a bit. My girlfriend... My ex-girlfriend died, and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to... Uh, wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. A bartender strapped for cash and distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all that away to be here, so I will stay. This is what I wanted. This is why I left all that behind. This is why... Oh, the music stopped. See? You're starting to sound like a broken record. Yeah, that fucking <laughs> gave me a heart drop when the music <laughs> stopped. Oh, leave her be. I'd rather have her here than be alone in her apartment. How are you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shit-eating piece of shit. Hmm. Poetry. On the lowest of any possible life form you might find. Uh, Nanobees look down to me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. You're spirited. That's good. Where's the mud? <laughs> Working with Sira. At Sira. I know what I said. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's surrounded by people that care about her. That's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as four might be, he's still just a cat. Then why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone today? What part of I won't leave didn't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind to just sit and do nothing. Fine, fine. But even, even when Gil's like, try, I mean, like, you know, maybe he's coming out a little thick here with like this fucking, you know, but he's like, he's coming from a good place and he still just gets oh, shit. He's, he's got a heart of gold. He, he got one zinger. Uh, you know, like one <laughs> zinger deflection of just like, well, your hair is hairy. Going, yeah, it is. And that's the only thing he's going to get in his life. That's yep. the only thing that he gets. Otherwise, he just gets shit on all the time. <sighs> what do we do if she lasts out at a client? That's why you're here, Gillian. Pliskin? <laughs> Gillian, Gillian Pliskin. Pliskin. <laughs> Who? Hey, Jill. What? I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. Gillian Pliskin. Fucking, yeah. Alright, where's your fucking bandana? Where's your eye patch, huh, you motherfucker? Let's select music. Alright, song selected. Let, let's 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 see what happens. Oh man. Oh, you already put on music. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be an interesting day. Oh god, this fucking guy. The Hall of Heroes keeps shining, brimming with the. Do I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. Oh hell no. <laughs> <laughs> we meet again, bartender. Virgilio, what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the streets makes it seem almost like a starry day. Sky. Wow. And when I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrities are fifty in favor of fifth of the octopus. <laughs> I'm really landing in thick right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I want something octopus-like. Aren't you going to do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. I'm not following. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help. Oh, Jill is done with his shit. Uh, yes, yeah, she is. Fine, then. I want a sparkle star. F-P-A-R-R cool star. Oh, sparkle star for... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, we gotta do this with this guy more often. Fucking just make him shut the fuck up. You're getting yeah. five karma trains, big boy. Holy shit. I want you to die from alcohol poisoning before the night's done. Me too. <laughs> See, was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? U-N-D-E-R. <laughs> you look angry. <laughs> Spelling parts. <laughs> Are you having that time of the month or something? Well, no, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate, and... On second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. I get those too, you know, periods. You do? Yes, last month I finally got my, over my renaissance and moved to my enlightenment. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him, I fucking hate him. <laughs> yeah, here I was, thinking you'd, dis you'd get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? Glaring hole through me will do nothing. I'm glam immune. Glare immune even. <laughs> and glam immune. But if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice. Whatever. It's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please, take measures against it instead of soaking so much. I'll be damned. That actually sounded half sensible. And here I was, thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Pompous <laughs> lunatics have stories too! Really? What story? I... Mm, I would rather not tell. Figures. You want anything else? Have you ever seen how they, uh... <laughs> a a bad touch. Uh, fuck. Where, where is? Come on, man. I, uh, bad touch. Whatever. Oh, we're not even gonna poof at it. But maybe it's because this guy's a poofter. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Whoa. Oh. You know, we can't even. We can't even make him fucking OD on alcohol right now. We, it, it's got. <laughs> it's got four. a base set of geometry. Yeah. All on the rocks. I don't want to see this guy drunk. Yeah. Ooh. And another thing about you, you racist think, I don't care for. Do you think if he was drunk, he'd actually just like start talking normally? Just be like, oh, and on today's news, like he just like <laughs> just fucking newscast man. Yeah, maybe. Unless that's actually how he talks. Here. Yeah, I guess this is the one. <laughs> maybe he's right, and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. If only I'd apologized earlier, I might not be feeling this way right now. If only I... If only I... Are you fucking monologuing <laughs> right now? <laughs> it, it's important to see this in my brain. I I can't even remember what held me from apologizing all these years. Um, bartender, you're making lots of faces of there. Pride? Fear? <laughs> what kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenore? I can't even fucking remember what feeling kept me from fixing this whole situation. Can I at least find souls in whatever feeling it was that brought me to the situation? Oh my god. Great, now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. It is she okay? No, but just leave her be for now. Oh, that's that's gotta be say, right? Hey, Jill! Say I gotta make sure I have some equipped just in case. Uh oh. <laughs> eh? Oh, thank God. A normal person. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> wow, <Whoa>, mummy! <laughs> no, no, I don't have kids. Still more normal than this twat. <laughs> How are you feeling, say? My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. I just want me to look at it. Thank God I'm not someone that scars easily. Um... I mean, wounds don't leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? Fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. You look better, though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. <laughs> I guess. <clears throat> You're the one who looks like it now, though. How do I put it? It's like when I called your full name, you called you your full name, but magnified. Oh, you should have fucking asked what her full name is, huh? Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? 
Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. Do you want something? My tongue's not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. <laughs> I, I'm fine. I don't need anything. <laughs> let's make a beer. Uh, I, I guess it's uh, it's been a day, two days. She can drink yeah. a beer. It's legal. I think. Well, and sh she's not uh, emotionally unstable or visibly emotionally unstable at the moment, so. Here. Yay, let's see if there's any other differences from the canned ones. And? This one tastes uh, less watered down. So, did something happen to you? I'm fine. Nothing's happened to me. People who are fine don't act like that. Oh, I get it. You're in one of those days. <laughs> You're in those days. You're in those days. <laughs> wow, I'm putting I'm, now I'm putting words in. When it's that time of the month, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not in my period. No? <sighs> I'm dealing with a loss of someone, okay? Oh. Uh Sorry. Don't worry. Maybe I shouldn't have come today after all. Hmm. Um. No, I... Hmm. Maybe... Ah! Are you alright? I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless, and I can't even say anything... I can't say everything will be alright without sounding cheap. I'm at a loss as what to do here. Sorry. <laughs> Wanna hear something weird? I was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday talking about you. That's what I was thinking. Oh. Well, lady, I'm leaving. Regilio? Yeah? You were just sitting with a Valkyrie. Really? Splendid. This'll make a good entry in my poems blog. I feel bad about the way I treated him today. If not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Like Stella when she first came? Yes. No. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> you could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, I just keep messing things up with people. But you know, he seemed familiar. Familiar? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it, though. I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. Okay, so he's seen Gil before, and, and she uh, has seen him before. And what's her nuts is uh, Stella's seen him before. I don't like this fucking question mark, monobrow-looking motherfucker. Yeah. Ah, well, it might just be that he looked like someone from an, I an ad or something. So, what brings you here? I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Oh. Why here? To be with you, of course. That reminds me. How did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me real hard. It hurt. She said, that's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. Huh. Can I ask whose loss you're dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Oh, okay. Uh, you really want to know, huh? I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. <sighs> Someone to whom I said some mean thing to passed away before I could ever see her again. Does that work? Yeah, sorry. Knowing I can't do anything helps me calm down, but... Ah! I mean, it, it's not that I wouldn't help, I just... <laughs> Calm down. I get it. I can't contain myself when I see people in need. Uh, but I've learned that there are times when you just can't do anything, and that's kind of fine. Thank God I learned that, otherwise I would have gone insane ages ago. You're a good person, say. Nah, I'm just an annoying girl. Still, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. 
You could always order another drink. <laughs> you could always pay my rent. <laughs> oh yeah, let's do that. Give me something cold, please. All right. Let's give Say something with ice. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Does this have ice? No, it's just <laughs> aged. <laughs> I hope you've seen a blue fairy come through here. <laughs> uh, Cobalt is, uh, is a blue color. On the rocks, baby. Oh, yeah. Needle hide. Flanner guide. Karma treen. All on the rocks. <laughs> Latrine! Admit. <laughs> <laughs> here. It's pretty cold outside, though. Yeah, but I don't like hot or warm drinks. You know, I used to be like that, say, and then I kind of came around on tea, but only throat coat tea as of right now. <laughs> they make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Singing. Hearing people sing helps, too. <laughs> do you sing? I mean... No, please don't do this to me. Did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually, but they've also told me I'm good with harm with the harmonica. So you play the harmonica? I needed something to do. I needed something to do some bre. What? I needed something to do some breathing exercises with, and a harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba. I mean, she's not wrong. Yeah, that's true. And I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know I don't look like the musical type. I used to play the violin. Right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? The violin's in my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why'd you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Just like me and cooking. That and almost burning my place up. <laughs> of course she would. When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm gonna go take my break. Tell Gil if you need anything else. Sure. I need to use voice number three. Come on. Yeah, I, I have something planned. All right, I have I have something planned. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see if I can get right back to it. No, no fooling around. It's now safe to keep playing. I just realized at the bottom it said Sukeban Games. Yeah. Very good. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's like the actual name of the, the actual developer. Yeah. <laughs> Still didn't seem to be a bit jealous. K jealous. Okay, so we it just started on Synthesis, so I'm just gonna bring this one up. This one, oh god, what am I? What am I doing? I should just. Back. Looks like you calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself. Make no mistake. But I guess I cooled down a bit. Say helped a lot with that one, though. I just can't stay mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only thing hindering me is that broken arm. I've gotten into burning buildings with a two-centimeter two cut. Deep cut, even. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. <laughs> Welcome. Ah, hello, Jill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was a damn thing. My eyes popped out of my skull and my jaw hit my desk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but that was not it. <laughs> You're not expecting the ahuga. <laughs> no. Or the or the. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one just kind of came to me. I was like, 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 uh, oh, fuck, like yeah, just the fucking. Uh. Oh God, voice three. Here we are. Yeah, it's about time. Yeah, we, we we've been cooking this one since uh, oh, yeah. episode thirteen, I think. If this doesn't make your balls swell with anger, I mean, uh Anyway, ah, hello, Jill, again. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this uh, about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like uh, Stella's unofficial bodyguard, but I'm not really fit for such duties right now. 
My father insists I go everywhere with protection. So most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going, going out. Holy fuck. <laughs> say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. Oh my god. Oh, the the <laughs> curtain got pulled up. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and she's more fun to hang around with too. <laughs> so I'm assuming god. that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? Th that girl isn't hot at all. <laughs> That's Buster, pretty cool guy. He played. I'm not even doing her voice. That's Buster, pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. We've offered him an yeah, Jesus. We've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Well, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bow, bowl tied to a stump. <laughs> And yet, he can still run faster than me with it. True. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A Brantini, a big one. I'm in a good mood. One big Brantini for Stella. I don't mind if I do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I was beginning 12. to read good again, and then I'm still kind of floored by the awooga thing. <laughs> <laughs> kind of recovering still. Good big God. Grantini. Here. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever tried to go out to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? I see it all the time, but never for me. <laughs> I go to Chili's at the high end. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Sometimes <laughs> you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. True. Ugh. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not talking. T I'm not talking. I'm taking a no for an answer. I'm not taking no for an answer. Don't put an A in there, you fucking idiot. Come on. <laughs> I'll have a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I know what you mean when you say some, you know. You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you two something? Sure. <laughs> when's the when's the Sesbian Lex happening? <laughs> Tomorrow at seven o'clock if you wanna come, big girl. I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times, she started showing up more and more and that was it. Um, <clears throat> my father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kids park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more, f with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. <laughs> <laughs> so you two have known each other for most of your lives. I've known her for longer than I've known my own father. Hmm. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. Uh, an item? What kind of item? Uh, probably a key item. An oscillating vibrator, baby. <laughs> a couple say. Oh, I, I yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually learned a mock prize, earned a mock prize of, for, of sorts for best couple at Stella's high school. <laughs> Three years in a row. So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff. The kind he eat raw Bronson roots every morning. <laughs> <laughs> But around me, he was different. And I have memories of him barking orders to my dad, only to turn around and play, play with me gently. It's interesting, though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. But, but yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Oh. Hey, Jill, what's this bloom light? A spicy drink. 
tastes nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Ugh. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one, too. On it. Two bloom lights for the girls. Uh, they are my shining stars in the darkness right now. <laughs> oh, God, I, I started... No, we, this, is not, this is not fucking... You're my big. shining star in the darkness. I'll have a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> All aged on the rocks and mixed. Bloom lights. Here. I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. I hate sand. <laughs> Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. It's coarse, rough, and gets everywhere, including what? the old snatch. Who's who? I didn't mean the light. <sighs> <laughs> huh. I guess she had too much before I came. Well, that, she must still be tired. From the whole bank thing? She told me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I guess I should be thankful for the nanomachine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. Oh. Still... Healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and poor Say is still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent persecution of those who were identified as former members. It's unfair, you know, among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals. Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Well, good karma and all that. She's earned the gods' favor, I think. But you know, all that made me realize I might be a bad person. How? When I saw Say wounded, asking for help, a part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. <sighs> How sad is that? Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows? Maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come, say. Let's get hamburgers and go home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek a rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Oh god, she's back here again. You know what? Uh, I, don't, I don't remember what I did last time, but I'm just going to do this. I, uh, uh, where, where did I put it? Here it is. Hello? Hey. Ah, Kim. Welcome. I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. So she didn't cloud. die. Yeah, no, yeah, she didn't actually die. I just, she was really like that first day that just disappeared. Oh, well. What We're gonna the find fuck out. is this? I think this is base of the Titans. Certainly I've heard it before, but it just kind of hit me new. <laughs> well, yeah, because we, we usually we hear the, the, the remix that starts with the, the break beat at the start. It's like the oh, boom. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is the original version of that. Uh, all on the I rocks wanna the fuck you like an animal. <laughs> I mean, inner species of rock and all that. Here. Thanks. So, how's work on the web paper? Jill, you read that every day, you should know. <laughs> oh, I quit. Oh, that's why we don't see her name anymore. What? <sighs> yep, I went to the office of that chauvinistic horse, horse blower and told him I quit. <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> 
I arrived uh. early to my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it only for the other bitches to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you'll always have second thoughts. Even if you do what you want, you'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost... What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel... free. Free? Mm. It's a wonderful feeling, you know? I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I could still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in... well, never! <laughs> Lady, you're saying all the wrong things! Yeah. <clears throat> what about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you gonna do? And all that. <sighs> but I'm gonna hear about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know. Bubbly or something? Something big and bubbly, huh? A bubbly drink? <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, obviously Jill's kind of asking some living vicariously questions, like, you know, how how is she handling the things, like trying to figure out if she should actually be guilty or uh, in pain or not. Or she didn't get a big frothy water. Although, I, I, you know, nah, you know <laughs> what? Uh, I'm going to give her something that's more expensive than a fucking that. Okay, 280, 260, 200. Okay, yeah, she's getting, she's getting a big cobalt velvet <laughs> because we need to pay our electric bill tomorrow. Sorry, Kim. <laughs> this is very much needed. I asked for something bubbly. You get something $500 instead. <laughs> it, it's bubbly. All in the rocks and mix. Oh, fuck. I didn't clear it. Whatever, it's still big. If detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. Huh? It'll also kill things inside you. <laughs> I gotta ask though, how'd you end up working there? No deep reason. That's what I did when I got out of high school. Dude, what the fuck's going on right now? Yeah, what is this mirror that we're looking at, huh? Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. <sighs> Too much pressure for my family. It's a really common tale, I guess. Did you have troubles like those? Same story as you. I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then, at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom. A little pause, to stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. Uh, um, give me a, er, something. Something? <laughs> Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright, she asked for, uh, something, literally. Okay, we'll give her some with an S. An S and rhymes with uh, five hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, that's one sixty, <laughs> one fifty, one fifty, one fifty. All right, she gets a suplex. Uh, th uh, whoops, three flanner guide and three carmatrine all on the rocks and. Mix. What is what is your idea for giving her something? Uh, no, I just S. Went with the S theme. I was going with the S theme. I mean, she, what's she going to do? She, she, Kim looks like the kind of person who, like, she's talking a big game right now about, like, going to the office and quitting. But, like, if, if you gave her hamburgers with no pickles on it and she wanted pickles, she wouldn't go to the counter and say, hey, I asked for pickles. She needs a she needs a big girlfriend like Stella. It's like, I give my girlfriend no pickles on her <laughs> fucking sandwich. Or, sorry, hold on. Give my girlfriend no fucking pickles on her sandwich or I'll <laughs> kill you. <laughs> Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Uh, don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. 
I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want. Study whatever I like, work wherever I want. I know it's not the- I know it's not that way and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than when I was out of high school. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks. I really need the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. Ugh. You should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Well, let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. <laughs> Honey! <laughs> ah, Dorothy, sorry, we're just closing. I know, I came for you! Uh oh For me? Oh, that, that thing. Why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. <laughs> All night long. All <laughs> night long. Come again? To put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there'll be any water in it. <laughs> You calmed, it just hit me. You calmed down a bit, but honestly, I know, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. <laughs> it's not. You need hugs. Many. You need some human uh, humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. <laughs> <laughs> Engage Ugh. the Fistomatic 5000. Uh. Treat yourself. Buy something nice for you and Dorothy. We're gonna give a 500 bucks to this fucking economy, Dana. <laughs> the beer was twice that. The Fistomatic 5000 and one. Okay, whew. Alright, your electricity bill will be sent out on the 24th. Please make sure you have the 8,000 needed. Jill wants to get in the holiday mood. Buying a mega Christmas tree will prevent her from getting too distracted. Have a nice day. Well, we can't have it both ways. How much money do we have? We have, we have. Oh, just enough. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, let's see. Oh, this thing's gonna be. Like... Well, does it get sent out at the end of the twenty fourth? I can't remember how that works. That's a it, lot of goddamn money. Yeah. Um. That's. <laughs> we're we're just gonna save right now. Let's take a mental note of all this. Okay. So we have danger you and augmented eye. Okay. God. I mean. If it's, I would imagine okay, wait, it's at how, the end much, of the next day. Well, it's it's going to be when we start tomorrow. So we go through this day. Um, how much money do we have at the start of this episode? Um, less than eight thousand, I think. Yes, and we made all like okay. So I don't know if we're going to make thirteen hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Okay. Well, I saved. Okay. Well, if, if, no, no, no. If we make five hundred bucks, we're fine. Because it's just okay, eight thousand. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were like pretty much just around here, anyways. So we will have enough for the bill, and then we'll hopefully be able to buy whatever the fuck Jill may want tomorrow. I believe. Ugh. Okay. Well, I guess I, I guess I'll I'll should I save on the same slot or should I just save in the next slot just in fucking case? Save in the next slot so we know we just go back to day eleven. <clears throat> Well, okay, yeah. Uh, thankfully, that day was not nearly as bad as I was expecting. I, I thought there was going to no. be a whole lot more of the fallout. I, I think the, the I think they knew there there needed to be like a levity day, even if it wasn't like levity levity, just something that wasn't as deep. Especially with like like oh hey, a little fucking Christmas tree next to the beers. Oh yeah. Uh, do you think Dorothy pointed out the shirt? Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> She's like, honey, why did you have my shirt? <laughs> We're also shouts to Data. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just, I bought you a prostitute for the evening. Don't worry about. It. Yeah, like, like I, I don't know, like especially like after you know the whole say thing, and then fucking the last episode. Yeah, they're like, okay, we we see we see say and Stella just come in here and just be cute and just exist, and then oh hey we'll show up we'll have that one girl show up. We like she's been dead since the start of the game, <laughs> so you know it's nice. I liked it. It was a, it was a good one. Girls only club. And John. 
Yeah, and that John face fucker. Yeah. I, 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 I kind of hate that I made that joke. I, I need to fucking, I need to front for my man. Yeah, put some respect on his name. True. Right, well, I guess that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, next time, we'll, we'll see uh, what, what happens. Is it going to continue to... Have, have we hit rock bottom and now we're just slowly climbing back up? Or, or, or was that just the first dip in the elevator breaking and the cable's about to snap? I hope not. Yeah, me too. Uh, so until then, I'm Trantia. 